you feel what you do matters? You know, that is something that uh, I think about a lot. Like, um, you know, am I making a difference? You know, like the reason why I went into physical therapy is because I wanted to impact people. I am faced with, you know, difficult diagnoses. Even as a young therapist, you know, I'm realizing that I don't know everything. It's frustrating sometimes when the outcome you want out of a patient, you don't get. Kind of hitting your head off the wall. You're trying so hard to, th to think about what you can do, or is it the patient not doing the home exercises, or is it you not giving them the correct exercises to maximize their benefit from physical therapy? I would love to have a full hour of one-on-one -on -one time with each one of my patients. Unfortunately, logistically, that's just impossible. You're taught that like, you know, you determine the plan of care for this patient, you determine what this patient needs. But when you get into the world and you actually start treating, you realize you really don't always get to say that. Like the insurance company will tell you, well, you only have one more visit left. I'm like, well, you know, you have the, like, we have not even close to where we want to get to. You are by nature sort of a fix-it person as a clinician. You know, you're, you want to help and you want to make it all better for them. I heard outside of work. I really didn't know what to do. I was kind of scared. I have a kid, I have a mortgage, I have everything that a normal person has. And I absolutely, you know, I needed my knee to get back to, you know, get back to normal life. I was scared. Of course I was scared because I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk on my leg. I was in pain. It almost felt like when you hit your crazy bone, but it was up here in my shoulder. It was really anxious to get going, um, to be able to, to start, learn how to walk again. It's just great to know that I had someone else to really care about me. And I was a, another number, but they were there to care about me enough to help me and to assure me that I was going to be fine. There are days I really don't want to go, but I know who's there for me, so I know what's waiting for me, and I go. They always gave you uh, security that it's okay, that it's, you're not, you're not, it's not unusual. What you're going through is normal. Um, and they would just calm my fears, just talking to me. And I know I was trying really hard, and um, I felt like I was going to cry. And I never lift my head up because I didn't want them to see me cry. And um, Joe would just come by and rub my shoulders, and he said, just take it easy. Like, they just, they just care. Like I said, I just adopted a family outside of an injury. <laughs> Any given day, this guy's flying around. I mean, he's working with this person, that person. He's he's working hard. It's it's really just to see how hard he's working. It makes me work. I want to work a little harder myself. It's, it's kind of an inspiration. It really is. She just saw what I was able to do and just encouraged me to continue to do that. I wanted to please them, just as they wanted to please me. I loved her. She would hold my hands. That's another thing. Yeah, she'd hold my hands. She'd go, come on, Rose, you can do it. Come on, Rose, you can do it. And I did it. I felt myself getting better each day. They never gave up on me, and when they gave me the confidence of, that I could do it, I was able to do it. I knew that they were going to get me through this, and they, they have. They helped me immensely. Um, they did a great job. You know, I can't say how much they did. I mean, it helped me get my life back. Hearing them say that, it just makes you want to work extra hard because it does make a difference. You are changing people's lives more than I would have ever thought. You got to be that positive that they look for when they're down. Sometimes you just have to give that patient the confidence or the extra push to say, just try one and go from there. It makes me feel great to be a part of such a great company to do something to help people to get their lives back to or as close as possible to what it used to be. Just seeing the difference, both emotional and physical, in these people's lives, it's, it's wonderful. With any job, you start to go through the motions sometimes. And then when you have the success stories, or you have somebody express some appreciation, or tell you about something that changed in their life because of what we were working on together, it gives you an aha moment again. 
and a this is what I'm here for. He did something that matters for them. And that's, that's, that's what matters the most. It's what you hope for. It's, it's you hope that people do feel impacted and do feel better and do feel like physical therapy made a difference. You know, physical therapy is a calling for me and hearing stories like this just reassures me that like this is what you know I'm called to do.